Hello, I'm Sam. Thanks for coming to get the latest advice about the COVID-19 outbreak. Whilst I know all the reports of a new disease may sound worrying, there is good news. There are simple steps you can take to protect you and your family. To keep you better informed, which of these topics would you like to talk through? Um, who is high risk? This is a new disease, but we're learning more about it every day. The main groups who are at higher risk are older adults, people with underlying medical conditions and those with asthma. Which of these groups would you like more information on? Older adults, please. Those at risk are people over 65. If you also have underlying medical conditions, then it's important you follow four steps to protect yourself. Can I tell you what they are? Oh, yes, please. Here they are. Step 1. Stay at home. Step 2. Wash your hands often. Step 3. Avoid close contact, which is 6 feet or 2 arm lengths. And Step 4. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. If this all feels overwhelming, I can give you some useful ways of coping with anxiety. Or we can talk about one of these topics. Um, can you tell me about updates and resources? COVID-19 is a rapidly evolving situation that can be hard to wrap your head around. So this is a place where I can give you the latest updates on cases in the US and around the world. I can also give you some helpful resources for your well-being. So where would you like to start? Can we start with well-being resources? What's more important than your well-being, especially in these times? Here's a useful curated list of resources that covers everything to keep you mentally and physically healthy. Feel free to download this PDF and try some of these out. In the meantime, would you like to go over some of the common COVID-19 terms you might not be familiar with? Oh, yes, please. In these changing times, there's a lot of new words and phrases appearing. I'll keep updating my knowledge to help you overcome any confusion, but here are the top five most common terms. Just let me know which you'd like clarity on. Um, social distancing versus physical distancing. Social distancing refers to keeping a minimum distance of six feet between people to help stop the spread of infection. However, some experts prefer to use the term physical distancing as it's important to stay connected by phone or online even if you can't visit someone in person. Would you like to cover another term from the glossary or hear the latest number of cases from around the world? I'd like to hear the latest cases from around the world. As of the 5th of April 2020 globally, the number of confirmed cases is now 1,174,652 and the number of deaths is 64,400. I can also tell you the latest number of COVID-19 cases and deaths for any country in the world. Which country would you like to know about? Or if you prefer, I can give you some useful resources for your well-being. Um, tell me about France. As of the 5th of April 2020, in France, the number of cases are 68,605 and the number of deaths are 7,560. It's important to stay informed, but this information can be worrying to hear. Would you like to talk about managing anxiety? No thanks. For sure. Here's the topics I can cover with you. Which are you interested in? You've been most helpful, but I've got to go. Goodbye. Thanks for talking with me. If you have any questions, come back anytime. If you're worried about your health or someone close to you, please call your doctor. And if you want more information, I suggest the CDC website for the latest news. Stay safe.